Hey, good morning. What's up, everyone? Nate here, back for another Adrenaline Rush adventure. We have Mighty Fierce out here with us this morning. What's up, guys? And we had to drop the River King off at school. But Fierce is virtual, so he can help us on these awesome adventures. And we are going to be hunting for these guys right here. These Morel mushrooms. Go ahead, Fierce. Chop him down. Show him what we're all about. Don't put your hand over it. Go. Had to saw that sucker down. Bam. And the way you can tell these moral mushrooms are safe is look, they're hollow inside. That's one way. Look, one way you can tell that these things are safe is look. Everybody wants to know how you know you didn't get a bad one. But look, you just go right through it like that. I mean, you don't want to do this out in the woods usually. We'll do it for this one mushroom today to show you. But hollow on the inside. Okay, <laughs> the, um, the false morels have wispy stuff in them, almost like a spider web usually. But anyways guys, we have these brand new fungi glasses. You've probably seen them on TikTok or on the internet. Are they a gimmick or do they actually work? Today we're putting them to the test. I'm gonna wear the glasses. Fierce is going without the glasses. No glasses. And we are gonna see who gets the most mushrooms. And guess who found this first huge patch? We are all in them already. And guess who spotted it? Dude with the glasses. So let's go sack them up. Fierce, give me my sack. You go ahead and start chopping these down. I'm just gonna show the folks what we've got going on so far this morning with the ones that we see. Ah, oh, these beautiful yellows here. Oh yeah. Right in here. I can see some back off that way, but those, are, I'm gonna go around the bushes to get to those in a minute. Right here, check these out. Boom. What are they growing by? They're growing in a mix of elm and cottonwood leaves right here. The elm leaves have the oblique bottom that comes together, not meeting up, and it has the serrated edges. The cottonwood leaves, they look like the little triangles, Populus deltoides, and they are the ones that jingle in the wind like this. Look at these things. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and start whacking these things down. Fierce doesn't have that smooth swipe down yet. Watch how I like to do it, guys. I like to come here from behind, put my thumb on this side, and just go whack. And then you have your shroom just like that ready, nice and clean, just like this. Whack. Whack and whack. We like to whack them and sack them. Let's see here, guys. This is a damaged cottonwood tree here. Look, bark's already falling off. And you can see the cottonwood leaves, like we talked about, the triangle leaves on the ground all around. I'm guessing he's. this is maybe why they popped out last year. And there's still a few trying to come back at him second year that he's dead. Well, guys, we're going to chop him down in one smooth motion like that in the bag. There's so much different things you could say out here. I saw him down. I had to saw him down. Whack him and sack him. There should be more, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go check it out. My dad's a nerd. He's over there talking about all these different trees. There's one right there. Oh, I walked past that one. Yeah, dad walked past him. I'm getting better at this stuff. Let me whack them in. You just walked past another one. I think. Let me go check. This one's actually oh, kicked off because of you. No, 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 mister. I actually stepped on him or kicked him. You've killed one of mine I just found. Where? That one I just picked up. Guys, look at all these mushrooms. One right there, one right there, one right there. More over here, more back there. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, guys. It's insane. All right, guys. So, fungi's glasses, do they work? We are putting them to the test today. I'm gonna go around with them on. Fierce is going around with no glasses. And we are gonna see who can sack them up. But let's show you what they look like through them, first of all. So there is a mushroom right over there. I'm sure you can see it. Let's see if the glasses help or hurt. You be the judge. If you'll notice, it makes the greens a little more green and less brown. To me, it contrasts better. It doesn't make the mushroom necessarily brighter, but it makes the stuff around it contrast. I've noticed these things really help you spot these. And guess who found this patch? Who found the first ones of the day? This guy did. I found the first ones of the day. So guys, don't forget, go to fungi's.com. Don't forget, go to fungi's.com. You get these awesome cases, you get your cleaner, and use code 10SHROOM. That's one zero, S-H-R-O-O-M, 10SHROOM. 
Shroom in all caps, singular. And save yourself 10% and get free shipping with that code. Gotta get chopping. These are towards the back end of their life. They're still okay, but we gotta get to chopping them down. Glad we made it in here today. Didn't need to wait on these any longer. Just whack them and sack them. Chop them and drop them. Mm, he's almost fragile. Let's get the whack them and sack them. Whack and sack. Look guys, you do not want to eat those. Those are way old. There's way more over here. I'm about to chop and drop these guys because they are... They too old? <laughs> I hope I was filming that. Uh, dang it, I went down. And I don't walk with my knife out, but I mean, I was taking one or two steps to get to the next mushroom. And I don't know if y'all saw that. I landed about like this. Yikes. These are probably a little too old to whack and set. So I'm just going to eat this one. Just eat it over there because he's not good. This one, it's questionable. He's decent. I mean, he's not the best, but we'll whack him and swack him anyways. All right, let's get him. Slice and dice. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful out here, guys. I better put that knife away. Ugh. Some of these are questionable. I don't know some of these guys, especially taking them. Probably not, but they're real borderline. I'm gonna take them just in case today. Couple more. Here's a monstro. Gosh, dude, I can't pick that. See, that one's just too gross. Look inside him. He's got too much dirt and stuff in him. Boy, look at him. Look at him in here. We've been in them for a while. Big, beautiful shrooms. They're everywhere. I hope I didn't wait too late in the year to come to this spot. I was saving it on purpose. I about saved her too long. We got a lot going on though. See, this one's, this is what they look like. That This one's died and shriveled up next to it. That's what its head looks like after it falls off. So I like to look inside the stem, guys. If I don't see dirt and stuff and ants inside it, I usually go ahead and take it. I see a bunch of dark little specks and stuff in there. Just decide to leave it. All right, guys. I spotted some more mushrooms with my mushroom glasses. Check it out. This is what it looks like without them. And this is what it looks like with them. They stand out a little better to me. They are freshies. I found these with my glasses. So I should get to put these in my sack. These are nice freshies. These, these lighter colored ones are harder to see with your naked eye. Whack them. This guy just chopped and dropped. He's a nice little mushroom. In the bag. This is what my bag's starting to look like, guys. But now, let's go find some more. I got a problem. Just got violently, brutally assaulted by a thorn bush. Right here. Oh, look at him. He's a sharp little prickly. And this one tag teamed me with him. I got like freaking scrapes on my side now. I got scrapes right there. Ow, I'm gonna die. Guys, I have pulled down my pants to check out the damage. Ah, that kind of hurts. It's not bad. It's not like wide. It's just really deep. And like all the other pricklies hit me as well. It hurts. Look at us shrimping them down, huh, Fiercy? These are just too pretty. Gotta go get them. All right, guys, 30 minute update. Let's see who's got the bigger sack. Dude with the glasses. Oh, crap. Or dude without. It is really close right now. I would probably give me the edge. Although I will say most of his and his sack are from the patch that I found with the glasses. So it was gonna take some time to separate one or the other. So we'll see. But I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool that we don't see in Oklahoma that much. Oh, this is wow. like a bamboo forest or something. It is. I and I've walked through here a few times and I've never found any shrooms. We're gonna walk through here for just a minute and see if we see any shrooms, but mostly we just, just wanna show you. It's Check this out. Group. Yeah. That's so cool. Feels like we're in Hawaii. Sugar cane or something, I don't know what it is. Some kind of bamboo, I think. I don't know if it's sacred bamboo, Nandina domestica, or if it's something else. Y'all could probably let me know in the comments. Pretty cool. You should take one of these home. I don't want to carry it. We're like three miles from the truck. I know, but it's so cool. Mom will love it. Mom will get to see it in the video. That's the good thing. Last year right here, I found a few by this cut down beaver trees. 
Now these beaver trees sometimes can be a little, oh, yep, and look, <laughs> I called it. He's too far gone, probably. I'm gonna throw him down, but he was here. And last year I found two or three right here. And there we go, at least one. Well guys, looks like we're leaving Bamboo Forest. It was about a five minute walk through there. Look at this tall bamboo. Yeah. Come on, you menace. Yeah. Check these out that me and Fierce just found. The old mushroom glasses. Look at them. It's hard not to step on them. There's so many. It's fun on days like this. Watch where I'm stepping. Oh my gosh, look. Giants. You guys, here we go. Whack them. Let's go ahead, Fierce. Let's start chopping. Fun times, guys. Fun times. Look at this. Start dropping them in your sack. Open that sack up like you mean it. All right, guys, this is a big Randy. The Ray Charles kind right there. Here, Pierce, let me show you how to whack these down efficiently. Watch them. Right here, you stick your, your knife on that. Get that out there. And then you go like this with your thumb. That's easy walk, can you? Can you? This one's like lower. Big. No, it's not. Dude, that was pitiful. That was pitiful. <laughs> Anyways guys, Dad walked straight down this little path right, right here. And how did he not see this little guy? Hey, that's mine. I was leaving him for later. Nuh-uh. Rock him, sock him, zoom. Whacked, sacked. Well, this is my bag. This is Fierce's bag. Boy, they are very similar. Mine's bigger. Fierce's almost might be bigger. They're almost a tie right now. Guys, comment down below right now. Who do y'all think's gonna win? The one with the glasses, he got the special fungi glasses, or me with no glasses, just a default. Anyways, go get those glasses, fungi.com, one zero shroom, all caps, is the code to get yourself 10% off on the glasses. Go check them out, fungi.com. And, and free shipping. And free shipping, that's a bonus. What is goody, my gang? <laughs> well, that was so cringe. Anyways, about to chop that sucker down. We had to walk past him. He's in the back. Slice and dice. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. That's, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Got this big old freshie. Nice fresh. We just spotted a couple from the trail. This pretty guy is pretty young and fresh. Go ahead and take him. Yeah, freshy. Yeah, got him, these glasses. Pierce wouldn't have saw those. Chipping away at the margin. These ones growing on this hillside. You know, something about these shrooms. They love growing on hillsides. I don't know if it's because the uh, runoff helps clear away some of the, the stuff on the ground to open up the soil a little bit or, or what. These are some beautiful fish. Look at this giant. Another. I'm getting into a few here. Okay, sack's getting heavy though. Oh yeah. Up under these cedars. Got me a giant gray. Look at that. Look at that boy. And he is a fresh he... Look at these gynamos. Wow, look at that. Whack them. Whack them. These are freshies, bro. Boom. Let's take a little look around. And here we go. But sometimes you just see them shining from way over there. Let's see what they look like real quick. Mushrooms without the glasses? With the glasses. Without? Hey. All right, look at this. I'm gonna just chop this one down. Chopped and dropped. Guys, we got some bad, bad news right now. It's really sad to see dead, dead. Dead. This one's alive though, I think we can pick him. I am going to salvage. Look at this guy. Slice and dice. Look at that much. All right guys, let's see. Oh my God, did you all just see that? I'm insane, holy crap. I just threw my knife down at him and sliced him off. That's how good I am, Dad, take some of that. This beautiful, beautiful giant, whack him. Man, that's a good one. Well, you get excited when you see these big, huge yellows shining from far away. Okay, let me pick these last couple. Then I'm gonna go over there and scout out. Look at this ginormous one Fierce is about to sack down. Oh, oh man. It's like the red one. Oh my gosh, look at that hole. 
Ooh. Man. Ooh. Yeah, put him in your sack. There's some giant ones over there too. Let's go get them. Man, you usually don't get into these giant yellows in the cedars. Usually in the cedars, they're grays. But today, we're even finding these giant yellows in the cedars. My goodness, this is awesome. I really gotta go show you guys this giant mutant. Look at this. Check out this giant one, guys. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be one of those you have to saw down. Nice. Oh, holy Toledo. That is a giant shroom. Stick him in the sack. And there's more this way. Whack them and sack them. Ooh, it's thick in these cedars, guys. I'm getting beat to heck. If I had one of those mesh sacks, he'd probably already be a goner. Yeah, it's fun when they're growing like this, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, bam. Dude, they are thick. It is so fun. I don't know how this chest mount's gonna work either. I've never used it on my mushroom hunting day, but I'm hoping it's getting most of these that I'm chopping. Double kill, double kill. And I've seen this ginormous couple guys right here. Actually, there's three when I get closer here. There's three, boom, boom. Yeah. Well guys, not found any lately. Boom. Gosh, I hurt myself. You know, I just fell over. I'm actually like really freaked out. See, I don't know what that is over there, but I want to go check it out. I'm scared there's gonna be like a dead body in it or something. It is really scary. I guess I'm gonna go look at it. Guess I'll open it. person that owns up don't see me before I get out of here. Well guys, I think it's time I did an update. You see, I, I you know how I just picked that patch right there? Well, there was a bit of a problem. That has not been found since I picked that patch by myself. And I'm just walking, hoping I can find them somewhere down the road. As I have found them, I found him. He just asked how much I got. I got like, what do y'all think? Like six or seven from the last pack. Look guys, this is where he's at. Look at him. He's somewhere in the abyss. And I'm smart, so I'm not gonna go down there. Everybody know I am not trying to get freaking sliced up by them. Dude, look at that. It's like on my stomach area. I'm just gonna wait here and wait for that. Okay guys, this is the spot me and Jace found last year. Came back, didn't know if I could find my way back. Found my way back in here somehow. And boy, are they pretty. Look at these things. These are the most fresh, yellow, perfect size shrooms of the day. These would be great to start my new sack. So here we go, starting sack number two for Nate. I'm gonna guess I probably got five to seven pounds in my first sack. We'll weigh it later. Oh man, what a ginormo. Ginormous. Thick, heavy, heavy built sucker. Yeah. These glasses are helping me really start to sack them up. Starting to get a pretty big lead on Fierce. It sounds like he's struggling back there. Walking through the woods and such. Lost his energy. Not Nate Dog. Nate Dog's going strong. Nate the Great. Well guys, I am reunited with Do y'all hear that? Right now, let me check what time it is. It is 12.01. That's why they just did those church bells. I'm sitting here waiting for dad to get back. Comment down below, who do y'all think will win? The guy with the glasses come here? The guy that's blind with no glasses. Like, I have almost no vision, bruh. For real. Well, guys, on our adventure. 
Looks like I found an abandoned house. Let's go check it out. I've got some scrap just in case anything happens. But it's an abandoned house. Jeez. A little creepy. I don't know, buddy. Yeah. I think they might be still building. No, it's been here. This house has been here for 10 plus years. And it looked old the first time I saw it. Look at this. Do you think that's safe to walk on? Not really. Test it out. If I fall through and hurt myself, I will. Yep. That's all you bro. I mean, that's pretty hard wood. What? Pretty hard wood. You stay on these. It looks like they just were building it and just stopped some reason. Be careful. This wood looks sturdy, but it feels a little flimsy. No, I'm not. I'm coming. Hopefully, since I'm lighter than my dad, I won't fall through. Whoa. Did y'all hear that? There's a second story up there, like a attic too. Wish I could see up in there. Don't know how to get up in there. Not unless I put the ladder up there. There is a ladder, but... Is there a ladder you could take? This is what it looks like up there. Nah, nothing too crazy. Whoa, I thought I seen something. Oh, uh, it was just something blowing in the wind. But it just caught my eye, you know? Pretty, not sturdy. Well, here's the old haunted abandoned house, guys. This is really dangerous, I should not do it. Now we've seen it, so. We could go look at the storage units over there. We could, or we could leave before we hurt ourselves. Let's go. Let's Disturb go. any haunted. Just happy there wasn't nobody living in here. All right, um, you wanna go first? Not really. Have fun. Whoa. Gosh, dang it, Dad. So we've been in here checking out this abandoned house. It's been here for about the last 10 years since I've been coming. I wonder why it's abandoned. All right, shine on me. We made it. These guys are getting a little dry out here, but still look good enough to cut down. Uno, dos, tres. Yeah. Is it so funny watching dad struggle for these morels? He just had to go through like five thorn bushes just to get to that one morel. Some dummy forgot to bring water on our trip. We've been out here for like, let me check the time. I don't need water. We've been out here for like, uh, so we started at eight and it's one o'clock. So we've been out here for like two, four, five hours. So far I've got two sacks and Fierce has got one. <laughs> we're not giving up yet, but we're going to start heading back towards the truck. If we don't run into anything too good before then, we will let you see how many of these we got. We'll weigh and see if these fungi glasses, in fact, won the challenge and how much our total weight is. We will see. Okay, we're about to weigh, but let's real quick take a look at, this was what I had, and this is what Fierce he had. Show how much you had. I had one set. Fierce had one set. Win. So, let's see how much I beat Fierce by. I'm, I think it's safe to say I probably beat him. Are you ready? Yep. Let's see here. Watch out. Mm -hmm. Five, I... five pounds. They're usually, about five when they're full. Well, almost five. 415. 10 pounds together. Five one and 415. All right, all right, all right. 5.03. Ah, it's pretty victorious. Much 15. Pretty much picked 15 pounds today, which is a good day. We could have had over 15 pounds you can sell if we them for kept 30. all the dead ones. Yeah, we left a lot of dead ones. Uh, you can sell, sell them for 30 or 40 pounds. So let's see, what's that? If we sell them cheap, 30 15 bucks a pound. 15 times 30. Times 15, that's about. 450, I think. Anyways, check it out, guys. These babies, maybe it's true. Either that or I'm just a lot better shroom finder, but they did help me. I was seeing some of them little ones in the shade way easier than he was. I said we did pretty good. Yep. Well, that's gonna do it for today's adventure, and we will catch you guys next time.